Local news for Monday the 29th of March. Carleton District Council has lifted its boil water notice for residents of, of the urban supply who've had to boil their water for over a week. This was after a positive E. coli test was recorded. As yet, Council had not received any official reports of illness in relation to the incident. National spokesperson for COVID-19 response Chris Bishop has released further details of a major IT scandal raising serious questions about the government's COVID-19 rollout. It is alleged that people accessing the system were able to pull the national health numbers of people, cell phone numbers, emails and dates of birth. The uh, the system, uh, which was installed to assist with the vaccine rollout, was due due to be rolled out in places such as Wanadapa. And a group of around 20 got together yesterday to discuss concerns over the tractor and bulldozer at Masterton's Queen Elizabeth Park. The snap meeting called by Councillor Gear was an opportunity to explain the process and understand how Council got to where it is now. Passionate locals raised questions over the likes of cost and how a community project could be implemented. And the Wadadapa United women's side have thrashed Upper Hutt 9-1 in their Kelly Cup Plate semi-final, Lambert scoring four of the goals. And the men's first round of the Central League took place yesterday with a 4-2 win for Wadadapa United over Petone. For local news and sport, I'm Brink here.